perimeter, we see a house under termite attack. Termites appear to be entering the structure at multiple points. The owner may or may not know that the structure is under attack from termites. This is a job for Xterra. The first step of using Xterra is station installation. To protect the entire structure, Xterra stations are placed in the ground at regular intervals, completely around the outside of the structure. Stations may be placed closer together in areas of identified termite activity or in areas with a high likelihood of activity, such as areas of mulch and areas of moderate soil moisture. Here's a close-up of a point where the house is under termite attack. As we can see, the termites have firmly established a presence in the walls of the house. This infestation has been ongoing for some time. As noted before, special attention is given to placing stations in areas of identified termite activity. This can help speed the process of establishing termite activity in the stations. After a period of time, foraging worker termites find the stations and begin to consume the wooden interceptors. As long as they are not disturbed, termites will continue to infest the station. When termites are found in the station, bait is applied. The termites quickly transition from consuming the interceptors to consuming the bait because of their high preference for it. As the colony consumes more and more labyrinth and colony members are affected by it, the number of colony members steadily declines. This reduction in the number of colony members makes it increasingly difficult for the remaining worker termites to maintain the colony, as each remaining worker must do more and more work to keep order in the colony. Finally, after a high percentage of worker termites have been eliminated, the colony collapses. Soon after all the worker termites die, all of the remaining colony members perish because they are unable to care for themselves. After the colony is eliminated, any remaining bait and interceptors are removed and replaced by fresh interceptors. The process of making regular inspections of the stations then resumes. It is necessary to continue to inspect the stations in the event another termite colony invades the area, the area previously inhabited by the now eliminated colony.